Hey there, fellow home enthusiasts. It's Joanna here, and I'm thrilled to chat with you about one of my favorite home transformations, painting brick exteriors. Now I know what you're thinking. Paint over brick, really? But trust me, it's a game changer. Painting your brick home can completely revamp its look and feel. It's like giving your house a brand new outfit. Maybe you're tired of that same old red brick look, or perhaps your brick is looking a bit worn and dated. Painting it can instantly freshen up your home's appearance. It's amazing how a simple coat of paint can make your house the talk of the neighborhood. But it's not just about looks. Painting your brick can actually protect it from the elements. Think of it as a shield against moisture and weather damage. Plus, it can even help with insulation, keeping your home cooler in summer and warmer in winter. Who doesn't love saving on energy bills? All right, before we dive into the fun part of painting, we need to understand what we're working with. Brick isn't just any old surface, it's got its own personality. It's porous, which means it can soak up moisture like a sponge. This is great for keeping your home cool, but it can be tricky when it comes to painting. Brick also has a textured surface. All those little nooks and crannies give it character, but they can make painting a bit challenging. You'll need to make sure you're getting paint into all those tiny spaces for even coverage. Don't worry though, I'll show you how to tackle this like a pro. Lastly, brick can vary in age and condition. Either way, understanding your brick's unique properties is key to a successful paint job. Now that we understand our brick, let's talk prep work. I know, I know, it's not the most exciting part. But trust me, good preparation is the secret sauce to a fabulous paint job. Think of it as setting the stage for your brick's big makeover moment. First things first, we need to clean that brick. Over time, brick can collect dirt, dust, and even mold. Yuck, a good power wash can work wonders. If you don't have a power washer, a stiff brush and some soapy water will do the trick. Just make sure you're gentle. We want to clean the brick, not damage it. And here's a pro tip, let the brick dry completely before moving on. Patience is key. Next up, we need to check for any damage. Look for cracks, chips, or loose mortar. These need to be repaired before we paint. Think of it like putting on makeup. You want a smooth canvas. Use a masonry patching compound for small repairs. For bigger issues, you might want to call in a pro. Now let's talk about priming. A good masonry primer helps the paint stick better and last longer. All right, now for the fun part, choosing your paint. But hold on, not just any paint will do for our brick beauty. We need something special that can handle brick's unique properties. It's like choosing the perfect outfit for a big event. It needs to look good and perform well. First up, let's talk about breathability. Remember how we said brick needs to breathe? Well, we need a paint that allows for that. Look for paints labeled as breathable or vapor permeable. These allow moisture to escape, which helps prevent issues like peeling or bubbling. It's like giving your brick a comfy, breathable sweater instead of a stuffy raincoat. Durability is another key factor. Your brick is exposed to all sorts of weather, so we need a paint that can stand up to the elements. Acrylic latex paints are a great choice for brick. They're flexible, which means they can handle the natural expansion and contraction of brick as temperatures change. Plus, they're resistant to fading and chalking. Now let's talk finish. You've got options here, flat, satin, or glossy. Section five, tools of the trade, equipping yourself for success. Now that we've got our paint picked out, let's talk tools. Having the right equipment can make your painting project so much easier and more enjoyable. It's like having the right kitchen gadgets when you're cooking. It just makes everything go smoother. First up, let's talk brushes. For brick, you'll want some sturdy brushes with stiff bristles. These help work the paint into all those nooks and crannies we talked about earlier. A four inch brush is great for larger areas while a two inch brush is perfect for edges and details. Rollers are your best friends for covering large areas quickly. Look for rollers with a thick nap about three quarters to one inch. These longer fibers can reach into the texture of the brick, giving you better coverage. And here's a pro tip. Use a roller with an extension pole to reach those high spots without a ladder. 
For those hard to reach spots or intricate details, consider using a paint sprayer. It can save you a ton of time and give you a really even finish. Lastly, don't forget about safety equipment. Section six, the painting process, step-by-step -step guide. All right, friends, it's showtime. We've prepped, we've got our paint and tools, and now it's time to transform that brick. Let's break this down into easy steps. Remember, painting is all about patience and attention to detail. It's like creating a masterpiece. Take your time and enjoy the process. Step one, start with the mortar lines. Use a smaller brush to cut in along these lines. This helps ensure you get paint into all the crevices. It might seem tedious, but trust me, it makes a huge difference in the final look. Next up, let's tackle those bricks. If you're using a roller, start at the top of the wall and work your way down. This helps catch any drips as you go. Use a W or M pattern as you roll. This helps distribute the paint evenly. Now here's a crucial step back rolling. After you've applied paint to a section, go back over it lightly with your roller. Finally, don't forget about touch-ups. Section seven, mastering techniques, tips for a professional finish. Now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about some pro techniques to really make your paint job shine. These little tricks can take your project from good to great. It's all about the details, folks. First up, let's talk about the spray and back roll technique. If you're using a paint sprayer, try spraying a section and then immediately going over it with a roller. This combines the speed of spraying with the texture of rolling. Another pro tip is to work in small sections. Don't try to tackle the whole wall at once. Instead, focus on areas about three to four feet square. This helps ensure you're getting even coverage and allows you to maintain a wet edge. Here's a technique that can really make a difference. When you're painting around windows or doors, use painter's tape to create clean, sharp lines. Lastly, don't forget about the power of layering. Section eight, color selection, making a statement with your brick home. All right, let's talk about one of my favorite parts, choosing colors. This is where you get to let your personality shine through. Picking the right color can completely transform the look of your home. It's like choosing an outfit. The right color can make all the difference. First, consider the style of your home. Is it a cozy cottage? A sleek, modern build? The color you choose should complement the overall style. For traditional homes, classic whites or soft greys can look stunning. For more modern styles, don't be afraid to go bold with darker hues or even black. Think about your home's surroundings too. What colors are the neighboring houses? What's the landscape like? You want your home to stand out, but still fit in with its environment. Don't forget about trim colors. The color you choose for your brick will influence what looks good for your trim. A classic white trim can look fantastic with almost any brick color. Lastly, remember that colors can affect how your home feels. Section nine, maintaining your painted brick, keeping it fresh. Congratulations, you've painted your brick and it looks amazing, but our job isn't quite done yet. To keep your newly painted brick looking fabulous, we need to talk about maintenance. Don't worry, it's not as daunting as it sounds. Think of it like caring for a beautiful garden. A little regular attention goes a long way. First things first, let's talk cleaning. Your painted brick will need a good wash about once a year. You can use a gentle detergent and a soft bristled brush or a low pressure power washer. Be careful not to use too much pressure. We don't want to damage that beautiful paint job. Keep an eye out for any signs of wear and tear. Look for things like peeling paint, cracks, or areas where the paint looks faded. Here's a pro tip. Consider applying a clear sealer every few years. Lastly, don't forget about touch-ups. Section 10, troubleshooting, common issues and solutions. Even with the best preparation and techniques, sometimes things don't go exactly as planned. But don't worry, most issues have simple solutions. Let's talk about some common problems you might encounter and how to fix them. It's like having a first aid kit for your paint job. One common issue is peeling paint. This usually happens when moisture gets trapped behind the paint. To fix it, scrape off the peeling paint, let the area dry completely, then prime and repaint. Another problem you might see is efflorescence, those white chalky deposits that can appear on brick. This is caused by salt in the brick coming to the surface. To fix it, brush off the deposits with a wire brush, then clean the area with a mild acid solution. Fading is another issue you might encounter, especially in areas with lots of sun exposure. To fix faded areas, clean the surface thoroughly, then apply a new coat of paint. 
Lastly, let's talk about mold or mildew. 